Hey guys, back at it again this morning. Um, had a suggestion in the comments section below, uh, or last video I should say, uh, from Oral Radio 456 UK. And uh, he suggests I should try uh, replacing the two SB754. This is a spare one I have here, and I also have another one in the old uh, 2950 there that's uh, beyond its, uh, well, its toast. It's being used for parts. But anyways, so I have this SB754 and I have another two SB754 and that 2950 there. And uh, World Radio 456 UK uh, says I should try and change out that one. And on the schematic, that there transistor is this one here. Uh, the emitter, it looks like it gets its power feed directly from the power power plug. So it should have uh, 13 volts there. And the collector goes down here. It feeds the collector of the, um, the two finals. It also feeds the collector of the uh, driver transistor and uh, I guess it's also acting as a switch which I would assume is probably turning on all these critters here as well these other four but it's uh, quite possible that this well she's down here this green one 2SB754 which is the same as this one here so we're going to replace the two SB754 here and uh, see if we can't uh, get sideband to work here. But uh, we shall see soon enough. Alright, so I've changed out the, uh, the transistor there. Um, power output, and we're still at 28400. Um, Right now this is CW, 20 watts, 1 AM, make sure that is AM, is it AM, no, yeah. AM, test 1, 2, VO 1 MDS testing, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, then we go to uh, upper side band, test 1, 2, Lower side band. So, yeah. So, changing him made no difference. Um, I checked the two finals. Uh, they tested fine. Then I put uh, each transistor one by one in the circuit. Basically, left one out, left one in, and tested them. Um, basically, AM is giving me 5 watts on each transistor. Which two of them together is gives me ten. Um, and CW, uh, I get ten watts per transistor. Two of them working together, you get twenty watts. Uh, sideband is still still less than a watt each. So I don't think it's the finals. I don't think it's the driver. I think these guys back here are fine. There's something else in the circuit here that uh, that don't seem to be right. Something here is not. Uh, Something here is not up to snuff. Something here is not driving the SSB power properly. What could it be? Something in here is uh, not allowing the SSB power to work properly. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe his ALC is not working too well. It could be this transistor right here. 2SC1923. Uh, uh, um, it does drive the ALC. I have it marked out here. So, I don't know. DLC has no effect on SSB whatsoever. So it's quite possible 
for the 2019-23 could be bad. It goes back here and the switching. So is it possible that 1923 could be bad? Because as it sits right now, the drivers, the driver, and the two finals appear to be fine. It's, it seems like there's lots of power there at the 2312, but an SSB is not making it to the antenna connector right there. It's like it's getting shunted to ground or something. Or most of the RF is getting shunted to ground. I mean, it does go to ground through the ELC, yes. But that's through the emitter. Hard to say. Anyway, so I'll post up this video and uh, let you think about it now. Let me see what you think. This is getting perplexing. Well folks, the radio is not fixed. I spent about 8 hours on this radio and not getting any further ahead. So I'm going to call her quits. The uh, Ranger AR 3500, in my opinion, is uneconomical to repair. Um, if uh, you want to send somebody else, let them have a go at it. Be my guest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I've had enough. Eight hours of this is uh, plenty. So yeah, she's dead in water, folks. Not a bad looking radio, though. Some people like them, some people don't like them. She's, uh, she's an interesting little critter, to say the least. So I got her here, as well do a little uh, review on it, I suppose. You got an S meter, RF meter here, the LEDs up on top. You got RF on top, S meter on the bottom. You have your uh, clarifier, your squelch, ANL, noise blanker, um, your AF gain, mode selector, split, split programming, plus or minus, uh, a bunch of LEDs here uh, for programming and transmit, receive, standby, split. You got your digital display here, manual channel select, and uh, entering your frequencies, going up and down the bands, you tune them by this. Uh, I guess you can probably get a microphone for them. I've seen a, um, a modification you, where you can use an up and down microphone with this radio. Um, so you get manual, memory, cancel, enter, scan program. Yeah. And on the back is just antenna connector, CW key. Uh, jack, speaker jack, and big heat sink. And that's pretty much it. The radio, if it was working properly, is supposed to do up to upwards of uh, 30 watts on sideband, as well as CW. And about 12, 12, 13 watts, I guess, on AM. But uh, she's far from doing what's supposed to be doing. So anyways, this is it for me in this one. This is a uneconomical to repair. As far as I'm concerned, she's a part radio. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, again, uh, World Radio 456 UK. Uh, thanks for the suggestion on the 2SB754, but unfortunately, that wasn't the issue. She has some sort of other issues going on here. And, uh, well, that's as much as I'm going with it. Anyways, all the best, folks. Take her easy. Let's see what else is up there is going to be on the bench.